The pilot is very simple. It's a fuel, right? It's fuel, new fuel. It you can produce pilot is very similar to gasoline, but it's not gasoline. Exactly the same formula. The only difference is that this come from biomass. Okay. A low cost hydrogen production. Ooh. We call it we call it solid gas. You know when you learn physical physics. You know, yeah, yeah. You you have solid, you have liquid, you have gas. Yeah. You know the uh, Dilman in Yogyakarta, yeah, the Andong, yeah. and carbon dioxide is much more dangerous than uh, horse dung. You know. Yeah, yeah. And why people uh, do not bother to get it? So we we introduce what we call regenerative hydro, regenerative uh, energy. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, so yes, decarbonizers, carbon activists all over the world. Welcome back to another episode of Carbon Forum with me, Kumbi Dahidatullah. And today is very special for us because uh, we have a very uh, special guest that owns uh three patents yeah three patents uh, not not many of indonesian people uh, will have this kind of uh, sort of privilege of course this is not because of the privilege that uh, somebody will earn but it's because the hard work that he earns his name is mr muhaimin iqbal not muhaimin iskandar yeah muhaimin iskandar <laughs> is different kind of figure And uh, he's an activist and also a passionate researcher for renewable energy, and he's an expert in renewable energy. So we will uh, say hi to him. Hello, Pak. Assalamualaikum pa. warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you, Pak? Very well, thank you. Assalamualaikum uh, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's great to have you with us uh, today, pleasure, and thank you very much for joining us. My and uh, Pak Muhaimin, you are an expert in renewable energy. Why Indonesia is kind of reluctant in in sort of uh, pushing the development of the renewable energy seriously? Yeah. Why I, is that? Is that because of the difficulty technically, no, or is no. that because maybe just maybe uh, too much sort of uh, demand from the you know? Uh, Fossil fuels players or anything like that, uh, please. Yeah, I think uh, it's not a problem of technology because uh, technology is uh, very well spread and mature for the renewable energy. And Sounds that's good. not no problem at all. Even our, our technology, we are supply hydrogen, for example, hydrogen for other countries. So no problem at all to mm. produce it. Uh, we talking with the European Union that most of the re- renewable energy, what they call it, advanced fuel fuel, mm-hmm. is il- il- 17 item that uh, they are targeted the 17 item for advanced fuel fuel. Mm-hmm. Most of it available in Indonesia. The wow. technology available, the the technology available, the uh, raw material available. Uh, I think the only reason that why we are not move very far for the uh, renewable energy is because interest. Yep. Interest. It's very. I agree with you totally. <laughs> yeah. Very, very. You know, ironic that uh, we buy very expensive LPG. Fuels, that's right. uh, LPG, yeah, for yeah. example, for all the country countries of seventeen thousand five hundred island, mm. imported for far, far away, mm. very expensive. It's just the, the energy. That's right. While we we are with our technology, I'm preparing the similar technology LPG, bio LPG mm. for other country. Wow. The for America, Latin America, Central America. Very ironic, yeah. Very yeah, ironic. yeah. They are yeah. and uh, they consult with me. With oh, okay. So we know how to do it. We know how to do it. The, okay. But uh, people never heard it about it. But because nobody tried to do it. <laughs> and basically, in terms of pricing these energies that you produce, they are affordable, yeah. Certainly, even certainly. Even though, uh, for example, is comparing to the LPGs. Certainly, or coal, C- certainly. Or, Just to give you the rough indication, yeah. yeah. Please. To produce one kilo kitchu, one kilogram LPG, mm-hmm. we only need a three kilogram of charcoal. Oh, yeah. three kilogram of charcoal. Three, three kilogram of charcoal. One kilogram of charcoal. It's only uh, about two thousand rupees. Yeah, so yeah, three kilograms right. is only six thousand. 
okay, okay. tiga gram. When the LPG price not subsidies price but yeah. normal price is 18,000 something you know yeah yeah, yeah. So, so it's within the, the really? reach, yeah it's yes. within the reach. it's yeah, very yeah, very yeah. much affordable yeah, hydrogen for example is uh, much more uh, lower yeah, the yeah. hydrogen price in indonesia if you buy like a uh, state owned company buy this minimum at 6 dollars right, right while the cost is uh, just about uh, 1 dollar you okay. know to produce from charcoal So it's uh, so all of this is uh, very much possible. It's just matter of who want to do it. Uh, people can come to my lab, for example, and I can show how to do it. Uh, because wow. even I got now a request from a Mexican from United States. They are now yeah. here. Uh, they want to supply the uh, what they call it wing in ground aircraft. Mm. Uh, for Maldives, for example, for Maldives, yeah, yeah. because Maldives is, plan, right? yeah, Maldives yeah. is very similar to Indonesia. They have yeah. uh, a lot of islands, a lot yeah. of island, and they want to move so. along with this island with a uh, very low flying aircraft. That's right. But yeah. because it's very low flying, you cannot use a proper jet or something like that. It's too exactly. noisy. So you must use a very quiet aircraft. Yeah. To be quiet aircraft, you need a hydrogen fuel cell engine. Right, right. And right. If hydrogen is supplied by the their American supplier for other source that use uh, let's say methane, steam methane reforming, it's very expensive mm. to send. It's very expensive. While our hydrogen can be produced from charcoal, from yeah. any biomass, mass, can be produced in any island in the world. Oh. So in situ, we call it in situ uh, uh, hydrogen product uh, product uh, product in situ. Yeah. So it's very cheap. So yeah. uh, we can compete. It's uh, just a matter of the willingness, yeah. basically. Pak Mohamed, I'm very, very happy to meet you actually because Thank I'm you. a renewable energy enthusiast myself. Yes. And uh, well, you hold uh, three patents. Yeah. yeah. One, uh, one of them is uh, auto yeah. thermal. Yeah. yeah. Second is the uh, fuzzy logic distillation. Yeah. Yeah. And the third, the third is bio light fuel. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Tell me more about the first one first, and then the second one, and okay. then the third one. And the, how do you actually uh, sort of patent it, and how how do you actually earn it? Yeah, the the patent that we register in Indonesia is three, but actually we have uh, about eight that are oh, hey, or the, more but, than that. But the the, the, the rest are still in the process. Based on the negotiation of our discussion with our investor, then mm. the five is uh, should be registered overseas first. Because oh, for their interest, they they okay. they more comfortable with the uh, overseas registration. I uh, see. That's that the reason why we are not uh, publish that. Uh, but the first about uh, auto thermal is if you uh, hit something, let's say if we, we hit charcoal or biomass, mm -hmm. uh, because biomass you can convert to any fuel you want. It's uh, gasoline, LPG. Uh, diesel. But the way you do it, our technology is using uh, a thermal mm. heat. Normally in the modern countries, people when they need heat, they always need a very high energy. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So we may have a different approach. In the center of the waste, let's say in agriculture center or in the municipal solid waste center, yep. uh, Pantar Kebang, for mm. example, mm. what is the cheapest cost of the energy? The cheapest cost is the waste itself. Yep. Okay. So we call in our team jeruk makan jeruk. That mm. means We sacrifice a small part of the waste to process the larger part of the waste. Yeah. So that what we call it auto thermal. Yeah, yeah. So if I if we have a one uh, let's say one ton of waste, then we used about 200 kg yeah. to generate heat to process the 800 kg. Right, right, so that, right. that's why we call auto thermal. So yeah. with our process, that's why we can achieve very low cost hydrogen, very low cost biofuel is because we use auto thermal concept. Ah, okay, the see. cost is very, very cheap. See, the, the, just to give you a rough indication, yeah. The hydrogen, if you produce hydrogen, the cost for the energy itself normally about 3.9 uh, US dollar. Mm. In our case, only one. Uh, 0.1, sorry, 0.15 US mm. dollar, the cost mm. of the energy. Yeah. Because of this, mm. uh, this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we introduced what we call the, the lowest cost sacrificing. Yeah. So the, you sacrifice the lowest cost one. Mm. Why buy LPG or why buy, buy hard or gas or buy electricity where you have a lot of this. Mm. So that's why, they, they, that's why they are the invention on what we call it auto thermal. The second is fuzzy logic. Fuzzy logic is normally 
And fuzzy logic is uh, some kind of a uh, function in yeah. the AI sort yeah, yeah. of implementations, That's right. right? That's right. Okay. That's so tell me more about it. Yeah, fuzzy mm-hmm. logic is actually uh, when people are doing distillation to separate gasoline, diesel, and so on. Yeah. Normally in industrial, they use a very high to- tower. Yeah. Okay, very yeah. high tower. Very, very tower. When you think about biomass, you cannot use very high tower because biomass is well spread. Yeah. So you cannot bring uh, biomass like municipal solid waste into central location, then produce there because it generates a lot of problem, social mm. problem, uh, uh, distribution problem, mm. and so on. So our technology is basically focused to produce waste as close as uh, uh, the appearance and mm-hmm. also at the time of the appearance. So uh, not putting waste for tomorrow, for example, mm-hmm. is because it create uh, you know odor, unpleasant odor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So with that, our machine, our tunnel is small. Normally okay. small, one container or something. When you make a machine one container, you cannot have one container, but very tall, uh, you know, uh, distillation. I see. So you yeah. must uh, thinking totally different. So mm. the, the way our logic is uh, the, uh, the our distillation will move from one tube into one tube and so on until it's meet our standard. So why uh, we call it logic? It's very natural. Just moving this one is meet standard, it's finished, become mm. product. Uh, What is the advantage of using these fuzzy logic distillations uh, first, rather than uh, the normal ones? First, mm. first, and you can scale down. Oh, the scale down, yeah, the size. Because, yeah, yeah, the, the size. size. Because the uh, biomass era is totally different with fossil era. When in yeah. fossil era, you can buy very high, very big refinery, uh, uh, for yeah, example. Yeah. Mm. While the biomass era, you must scale down the factory into smaller part and to close the yeah. biomass center. Close to the sources yes. because the sources yes. are yes. spread in. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So basically our technology is scale down mm. technology. How to mm. bring it uh, smaller and smaller and smaller and mm. second cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. I and see. then it can operate at any island in Indonesia. Wow. Uh, wow, wow. Unfortunately, that all of this technology is uh, will be adopted with the other country who have a lot of island. Maybe mm. Indonesia will follow. Okay. Sounds great. The third one? Yeah, the third one is what we call it biolite. Uh, biolite is very simple. It's a fuel, right? It's fuel, new fuel. It you can produce biolite. It's very similar to gasoline, but it's not gasoline. Is that is that eth- ethanol or methanol? No, no. Or? It's very 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 similar to gasoline from the biomass. The the call in Europe is uh, advanced fuel. Advanced fuel. Advan- fuel what, is, what is the chemical uh, formula? S- similar. Yeah. Only the only difference is the source. Oh, the sauce. The, okay. the, for example, gasoline. Gasoline is C, C8, uh, uh, C8, H? it's, uh, t- uh, t- uh, sorry, it's C8, uh, 18, for example. Yeah. Yeah. H18. Yes. Uh, o- yes. O- 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 OH? Uh, no, 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 no. Just C yeah, and okay. H, yeah. So, but you can, exactly the same formula. The only difference is that this come from biomass. Okay. Why is it so different? So it's octane, yeah? It's an octane. Yeah, octane, octane. octane. It's gasoline, yeah. yeah. Mm. So why is it so different? Why? Because mm. when you produce something from biomass, the emission will be carbon neutral. Uh, the, it, the, the emission is offset by the photosynthesis of the plant when it's grown. Right, so right, that's why right. the year 2050, people yeah. targeting not carbon free, But zero yeah. net, net zero. zero yeah, it's yeah. mean that uh, it's still emission, but the emission must be offset it by either plant or something mm. like this. So, so, so that's, that's why, that's why we start with this biolite. Biolite mm. is the uh, fuel that will be fit for the net zero. Wow. But so basically that's, uh, that's why we, we uh, promote this as a pilot. Yeah. Well, uh, you said that you have another five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is actually registered abroad, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me more about the, these yes. five or? Yes. I, I, is, it, I, is it still, uh, what I'm saying is it still in the secret sort of way? No, the, the two of it, I will tell you about mm-hmm. the two of it because the two of it will be uh, published internationally, internationally anyway because oh, okay. next week I will present in Sweden. They invite okay. me to present this two technology. Okay. So people will know anyway. Yeah. So, so, so you what, will what, what are they? The first is uh, what we call it uh, low cost hydrogen production. We, we call it we call it solid gas. You know when you learn f- physical physics, you know yeah, yeah. you you have solid, you have liquid, you have gas. Yeah. The problem with gas, if you distribute hydrogen, hydrogen, you need a very high pressure tank, 700 okay, bar. Mm. Very expensive. Mm. That's why hydrogen so very highly in United States and Japan. Mm. So uh, why, our technology is different. 
Hmm. We are not sending very high pressure uh, hydrogen yeah. in big okay. tank. We just uh, compress, yeah, compress, compress hydrogen. into a pellet, mm-hmm. into a pellet, mm-hmm. into a pellet, and then just compress hydrogen as and when it is needed as hydrogen. Oh. So with that very, we, we call it solid gas. Solid that actually represent a gas. Right, right, right. For example, if you bring one meter cubic of uh, hydrogen, it's only bring about 40 kilo gram of uh, hydrogen. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, uh, should should it be in a certain sort of conditions, right? If you want to put hydrogen into a solid state. No, 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 no. That the smart we not put the smart thing is not in the material itself, but in the engine that we prepare. Oh, okay. okay. So the solid state actually. So there is a containment. Yeah, the the solid no, the solid state yeah. is actually is just charcoal pellet, charcoal pellet. Okay. But the one the machine that we use is to process charcoal into hydrogen. Oh, the the conversion. Yeah, the, the conversion. conversion. That because ah. when you react charcoal. Uh, so you don't actually produce the the gas first. Yeah. You put it in the solid state. Yes. And then you convert it yes. straight away yes. instantly. Yeah. Yes. Something like wow. That's, that's why the uh, brilliant the Ministry hmm. of Energy in the Sweden the so that's uh, what we are writing in public and they say that your organization is very very attractive you know? yeah so they invite, me, also, yeah. Fe, they invite me to give speak to to present our innovation okay. next week in in their uh, agenda so that's the, the second is uh, even better the second is even better you know the problem is carbonization yeah the problem is everybody throw away the carbon into the atmosphere yeah Okay, mm-hmm. so this inspiration is very funny. That the inspiration is when I was in high school in Yogyakarta. Mm-hmm. You know the uh, Tilman in Yogyakarta, yeah, the Andong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Andong, they put the bag behind the you know the horse. Yeah, yeah. So when the horse is uh, you know spit something there, yeah, uh, yeah. Right, it's not throw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so they they collect it and then the uh, Andong Kosir mm. can take away not not make. Uh, the road dirty. Yeah. Okay. And carbon dioxide is much, much uh, more uh, worse than this, you know, uh, horse meat, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's... Uh, horse dung. Uh, yeah, horse dung, yeah. yeah. So the, uh, it's much more dangerous than uh, horse dung, you know? Yeah, yeah. And why people do not bother to get it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. it's difficult, you know, to capture the carbon CO2 from the car, for example. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we introduced what we call regenerative hydro, regenerative uh, energy. Okay. Regener- regenerative energy is basically how to produce the next energy from the previous energy that you use. Hmm. Okay. For example, our, our skin. Yeah. Why we are, I'm uh, 80 years, uh, sorry, 60 years old now, Mm. And this uh, is not rusting here because every mm. 14 days the you cell is replaced. <laughs> you know, this, the cell the cell is replaced. Ah, I see. So yeah. every our life is replacement for the from the previous one, ah. regenerative. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our food also regenerate by yeah, pla- yeah. Uh, planting it. Yeah, yeah. Why we use energy that you know? Not, not regenerative. Not regenerative. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Well, well, you throw away the CO2 and the atmosphere. It's endanger you. Well, if you can capture it and convert it into energy, uh, it's become the next energy. We call it regenerative energy. Wow. Regenerative energy. And the theory is actually, to be honest. It yeah, is because not, uh, in the end of the day, uh, you cannot actually uh, create energy or destroy energy. Yes. It yes. is the that, that's very good. conservation that, of yes, energy law. That's, yeah. that's right. That's right. Thermodynamic yeah, uh, first, first law. law. Yeah. Okay. Thermodynamic mm. first law basically said that you cannot destroy, you cannot create. Uh, mm. Energy That's in right. isolated system. What you can do, what it is actually happen is only transforming, conversion energy from yeah. one. That's And right. if you hit something, what is the conversion? It's become heat. We can capture it, heat into the new energy. And, then And then what becomes CO2? As you can capture it into the next energy. Yeah, 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 Because yeah. to convert CO2 into energy, it's very simple. The invention is come from French scientists uh, early twenties uh, right. uh, century. Basically, when you react CO2. With mm-hmm. carbon, yeah, it's become two CO, yeah, and two CO is already energy. Call it syn gas. Oh, okay. From can you sin- burn it? Oh yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, and the energy it is, is burnable. Yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and when you convert, when you have the syn gas CO, yeah. you can convert it into hydrogen by reacting it with uh, water. Ah. So yeah. from the CO 2 actually, you can actually produce uh, hydrogen. 
Ya, ya, ya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that, 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 that simple. By two, two step reaction. The first reaction is called the uh, Boudot reaction. Yeah. Uh, to convert the CO2 into CO, uh -huh. and then the second reaction is called water gasive, convert the CO into hydrogen. So, wow. the, so that's basically the, all theory is already there. It's just a matter of how to facilitate that the reaction could be run very effectively. Mm. And to be run effectively, you need very cheap heat yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. is my uh, pattern, the first pattern about autothermal. Oh. So that the key is basically to create a very high heat, uh -huh. thousand degree. But must be very cheap. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that's yeah. why, the, why the important of the first pattern is. Wow, I am gobsmacked and no, full you. of amusement now because uh, <laughs> I'm I'm really uh, enthusiastic with this uh, invention of yours. Thank you. And uh, would you like to present it in one of our? Well, I, I mean, we we actually organize some sort of uh, talks, yeah, discussions, yeah. yeah, seminars. Yeah, we have a. What you call it, uh, an association yeah, yeah. for uh, carbon em emission experts. Oh yeah, we and we would be happy to invite you in that matter yeah, you. to share your. Well, I mean, not all of them. Maybe uh, in one uh, opportunity you can actually present it one and then the other, so we can have like at least eight, eight, okay, eight uh, seminars just to cover your uh, inventions. Yeah, that, I, I will be happy to do this because we share it with uh, experts all over the world. Why not in Indonesia? Well, great. Yeah, no, yeah great. so that we are like now this, I have a visitor from United States, now still in Indonesia. I met him again this evening. Yeah. Basically what, what he do, he already read my publication and so mm. on. The, he just want to make sure that I'm doing it, not mm. just writing it, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Uh, they come to Indonesia just to verify that I'm really doing it. So he is very happy that we are doing it. This is the gentleman that will bring my innovation to support their, uh, what we call it, wing in ground aircraft because okay. they use the hydrogen yeah. and they need our hydrogen. So very strategic partnership. Yeah. And we already share it with the, uh, this gentleman from overseas. Why not with the local, you know? Excellent. Uh, excellent. Uh, you have, uh, you have your own workshop? Yeah. Yeah. Small. Uh, where is it? In Depot. In depot. Uh, it's uh, only about one half a kilometer from University of Indonesia because okay. from time to time there is a student there that's a PhD normally do their uh, dissertation okay. with one of our innovation. Okay. Always a time when uh, we need a dig uh, deep into uh, the certain detail, then we hire the we work with the PhD student to go deep. In it. Okay. Well. Uh, I'd be happy to uh, get into the train to Depot oh, yeah, to yeah. visit you yeah, over there please, and check please, it out. Please, please, and please, then we'll have uh, more discussion about it. Yeah, yeah. Please, but please. unfortunately, Pa Mohaimin, I mean, the time is not, I mean, yeah, we don't yeah. have the luxury of the time right now. Yeah, yeah. No so problem. we should sort of put it there for yeah, no our problem. discussion for the moment. Yes. Thank and you. Uh, if you would like to address, like, for a couple of minutes uh, to the audience, what is your. Uh, inspiration and aspirations towards the uh, development of the renewable energy, please, by all means. Okay, mm -hmm. the, all the, our technology inspiration exactly come from the Quran, one word in Quran. Mm -hmm. One word in Quran mentioned that uh, very familiar, very famous word is it. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that's uh, not useful. You oh. know? Every single thing in the earth Every single, even every single matter is always useful. It's just a ma uh, matter of how to find this. Yeah. When you're trying to find uh, useful, uh, the use of CO2, for example, mm. when you go deep into the CO2, then you will find energy, like mm. what we do. When you go deep into the waste, for example, why in Jakarta there's a big waste? In any city in Indonesia, it's a problem with waste. Mm. Because people not use, uh, you know, mm. this of our beneficial. So uh, just use this rock banana collector had a batilan subana kawakina and banana. So uh, make that uh, trying to find use of everything. Uh, yeah. With that, you will find always energy all around us because most of our energy now, our what we call it regenerative energy and uh, this uh, low cost hydrogen is only three material that all everywhere in available in the world: hmm. water, CO2 uh -huh. emission, and waste. Carbon. This tree is always everywhere. Mm. Why you should import very expensive, dirty energy mm. when this tree is always available? Wow. Uh. 
Masya Allah, Not extraordinary. Thank you very Thank much, Pak Muhaimin, for joining us, and uh, we'll we'll keep in touch, and Thank we'll you. definitely uh, do something more Thank uh, you. together. Thank you, Pak. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, isn't that very interesting? You know, Indonesian. We have investors, not only any investors, uh, sorry, invent, inventors, but inventors in renewable energy. And he's not only doing this renewable energy in terms of, uh, uh, well, expensive things, but this is actually a renewable energy that is actually affordable, eco-friendly, and it's actually using Uh, dirty materials or unused materials that makes it so interesting of course that was Mr. Mohamed Iqbal and we'd like to thank you very much for you, him uh, being here and uh, the carbonizers, carbon activists all over the world thank you very much for watching this episode of Carbon Forum until the next episode and always stay tuned We will be presenting, you know, a lot of uh, interesting discussions related things with decarbonization. With me, Pomida Hidayatullah, we'd like to thank you all. And Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.